Unfortunately, I'm not a fast reader, uh, and I'm, I'm not as fast as I used to be on, on reading. Uh, it, uh, uh, but I, I don't know how effective uh, various speed reading classes may be, but if they are effective, you know, I would, uh, I would really uh, suggest anybody that can improve their speed. I wish, I wish I could read a lot faster than I can. Charlie can read faster than I can. And uh, it's a huge advantage to be able to read fast. And, you know, there's that old Woody Allen story about how he took the speed reading course and he met somebody who was telling how wonderful it was. And the, guy, and the guy said, well, give me an example. He said, and Woody Allen said, well, he said, I read War and Peace last night in 20 minutes. It's about Russia. You know, man. <laughs> well, that's the problem I have when I try and read fast. I get all through reading the book and I say it's about business. You know, so uh, I, I really don't know the, the effectiveness of speed reading type courses, but, but if you know of any friends or you've, you, know, uh, you can learn more about that and they are, there are effective techniques, obviously the thing to do is to learn them very young because they're, there's really, you know, there's, there's nothing, there's hardly anything more pleasurable, you know, than, than, than reading and reading and reading and reading and Charlie and I do a lot of it, we continue to do a lot of it, but I don't do it as fast as I would like to. Charlie? Well, I think speed is overestimated. I had a roommate at Caltech who had a very distinguished mind, and I could do problems faster than he could, but he never made a mistake, and I did. <laughs> so I wouldn't be too discouraged if you have to go a little slower. What the hell difference does it make? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.